Okay, for you long-time tweakers out there um, who already have Calidit uh, 132 installed, um, you can go through the process of either through the auto update or you can download direct, um, basically follow along with the um, uh, video for the new users who've never had Calidit installed. It should install over and run without issue. <clears throat> that being said, it's always good to clear out before starting something new, um, especially in Windows because things can just accumulate and you're taking up more disk space than you ever thought you could. Um, so we're going to go through that process and here we're going to start by going to control panel and you can see that the BDE is there and um, we go to program and features and then right click on Calidit to uninstall yes <clears throat> and then you close that out and that should be all you need at that point um, now the uh, BDE is a little more involved um, we need to there really isn't any uninstall uh, so we will need to go to you can do it one of two. Well, you're going to have to do two steps no matter what. And the first one is to go to wherever uh, the BD is installed. And that's here for me. And sometimes it's under the x86, but um, you see there's where it's at. So I just go up and delete and now if you have or know that you have another piece of software that's using the BDE that didn't come with us uh, from us then you might want to leave it there now at this point you can download the software and go to the website tweaker.com downloads and you can mainly click that wait for it to download apparently it has in cache so that didn't take long um, if you have security software something it may take quite a few minutes for it to scan through it before it uh, actually finishes writing it to disk and allow and windows allows it to uh be on your system and as always you can either right click or just click pause click and get rid of the DAT press enter it'll warn you say yes and now you can run the install and I like to uncheck that and then run mm and take the defaults and let it do its thing install copy register and finish <clears throat> now at this point the software should run um, it doesn't even want to run it and it comes up Everything is nominal. You go from Calcon, make sure that there's no BDE error. And you may need to reboot to make sure that uh, everything is copacetic. Um, but so far, so good. Now, the next step is a, you know, basically just in case, run reg edit, register editor. Make sure you're on computer to begin your search find and ID API32 
and press enter. And this will take several minutes depending on computer speed and other things uh, to locate um, usually two or three different um, uh, keys that need to be deleted uh, just to make sh to get rid of the um, here's the Mprox um, server 32 for BDE and so you click up there on the top level key that it's under and delete confirm yes and you might want to open this up a little more so you can see and then press F3 key or find next F3 and <clears throat> this is just to um, help both keep it from ever um, um, clashing with the um, uh, minimal BDE usage that doesn't require an install that we're using now um, versus um, oh and to get rid of the uh, BDE, BDE admin on the control panel because it'll just sit there and do nothing um, and here we go uh, common files so that we need to get rid of Borland click on that and yes you're going to get rid of both of these and F3 again and this usually is the last one um, that it will find um, there's another step you can do but I would reboot before you do it to make sure that Windows um, here it's finished searching the registry and didn't find anything else um, I would reboot at this point, come back in, and do this under your user um, folder and search for BDE. And it'll go through and find you know, a bunch of cached stuff that m may still end up being an issue. And these are all in programs BDE. Um, I thought I'd already deleted that, but apparently not. So we go to Glover Params BDE, and that's where I had my temp folder. All right, that should be all you need. Also, um, something I like to do is I like to have a uh, make a Calid it uh, quick link quick access so I can just jump there so you can easily get the log files um, and of course uh, the sample of um, CCFs now I hope you found this video helpful and if you have any questions make sure to post on the uh, support group at groups.io and have a blessed day.